Mango Hall Part 726. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got another manga haul video for you today. A few parcels have turned up, plus a few things that I have opened last week. So a massive haul has arrived today, so I'm gonna go through that with you. So it's just November 5th, so it's pretty early to call this my November haul. I mean, it's just one week in, so I'm sure to have more arriving. As you know, if you're familiar with my channel, oh, I've been doing these manga haul videos for a few weeks now, and yeah, my, my collection, is is huge i've got over 100 books right now and considering i've only really discovered manga like a month ago yeah i've, I've gone in pretty pretty full on so it's been fun though i mean so i've finally started reading vinland saga so i've dived into one of my books finally and was great i've finished that one i've got book two on the go now so when i get a little bit deeper into those books i might give my thoughts and feelings and tell you what i think about them and i'm also diving into the anime as well so it's kind of interesting seeing the differences between the manga and the anime in the Vinland Saga, which is really cool. So, first up, I'm gonna show you what I've got the last couple of weeks. So, diving into these first three books right away. I'm looking forward to getting into these ones. I've got I'm a Hero number one. So this is a zombie manga, and I love zombie films and The Walking Dead, so I'm really excited to check out this one. Next, and this is in no particular order, I've got number three. So these are just arriving as they see fit. So thank you Amazon from the book depository. These guys are on the way. And of course, number five. So these arrived a week, week and a half ago. They've just been trickling in a few at a time. So I, I just opened them up because I'm weak. So that's those ones. So next, continuing on series I've already started purchasing. This is Overlord number three. So once again, these are arriving in no particular order. I've got most of, well, a lot of Overlord already, but, but they're not coming in in like numerical order. So I can't really start any of these. Well, I don't want to start anyway because I'm like concentrating on Vinland Saga at the moment. So I just want to like concentrate on one series at a time. But damn, if I've not got a lot to catch up on. So this is The Promised Neverland number six. I've heard really good things about this one. Everyone says the anime is amazing as well. So, um... Yeah, I'm super excited to dive into this series. So I'm deciding if I should read the manga first or dive into the show. That's the eternal conundrum. <laughs> I really don't know which way to go. The Promised Net Land number 11. But being like a reaction channel primarily these days, when you're watching a show, you want to go you want to go in and not be spoiled by anything, right? So reading the manga will spoil the show for you, which I'm kind of discovering with Vinland Saga. So even though that, that first episode did deviate away from that first book in the manga, it was uh, subtly different, but a lot of the, the plot points were on point. So, but there wasn't a lot of great reveals though. So it wasn't like any massive plot twists or surprises. The story just flowed beautifully and it was gorgeously animated too. So, but the manga is, richer in that it covers more story i guess you could say from the author and the artist so yes yeah, so I've, I've got to kind of really work out what i want to do with that series next pickup is yeah man full metal alchemist full metal edition number two so i've got part three on the way as well that's as far as i've ordered so far i wanted to keep this month's credit card bill sane but I'm really looking forward to diving into Full Metal Alchemist as well. Still got to check out Brotherhood, the anime. So I'm deciding if I'm going to react to that. I have it on Blu-ray, so I don't know if I'm going to watch it on my own privately or do a reaction, so I'll let you guys know. And next we have got Monster Volume 6. So I'm, I'm really curious about this series as well. Not really supernatural in any way, more like a, a psychological thriller, I think. But a doctor versus a, a killer who he saved. And then the psychological implications and the ramifications of that. So I'm looking forward to diving into this story. Looks like a really cool drama. And it's by Naoki Hirosawa. So apparently I, I love his works. Like I mentioned in one of my other, my other vlogs, I am buying most of these guys' works. So that's cool. And last from the haul from the previous weeks is volume number two. Is it number two? I think it's number two. Yes, it's number two. Dead Dead Demons, Dead 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 Destruction, number two. So, there you go. I thought it was in 
I thought it was in Indonesian there for a second, but it's actually the author's name, Ineo Asano. So I thought it said Indonesian. I thought, oh shit, I bought the Indonesian copy. What have I done there? But that's English, which is good. So the author is Ineo Asano. I'm such a novice. So I'm looking forward to this one as well. Basically, basically about um, an alien invasion. But I've heard really good things like this is quite an amazing read. So super pumped. Now today's haul. So I've got about 10 boxes and two of them are absolutely massive. So I'll just do these small ones first. They're probably just primarily going to be the the next volume in a bunch of series I've already started collecting. But you never know, there might be a surprise or two. Thank you Book Suppository for putting this... Not surprise, I said Book Suppository. Book Depository. These books aren't going anywhere unsafe. I'm just glad they put into like cardboard boxes rather than that paper stuff like I keep saying. Alright. Oh, it's attached to me. Yeah, so as I as I figured, so Overlord number five. So we've got this one coming. This has got a TV series as well, like an anime. So once again, I'm buying a lot of manga that has got an anime adaption. So diving into what first is gonna be the question that I ask myself when I'm considering which way to go first. So any recommendations from you and which way I should go, like manga first or anime, let me know down below. Okay, the next one from Book Depository as well. Once again in the paper bag, which I don't like. But should be okay. They've got a lot of bubble wrap on there as well. They really glue them down though. Alright, what have we got here? Aha! Promised Neverland number 10. So definitely the collection is growing nicely. I don't know how many more I've got to collect in this. Is it finished? It's like up to 12, I think. I don't believe there's any more coming in this series. But um, yeah, excited. Once again, I completely snooked myself, went out and got the grocery shopping, got myself some beer, a little six pack. And that was heavy, plus some potatoes, which were heavy. So the groceries were already heavy in a couple of bags. And then went to the post office and I thought the slip said five, five parcels and that was it. But yeah, as always. Oh man, oh, I'm excited for this one. Battle Royale number one. Now these are expensive sons of bitches because they're no longer in print, I believe. So this book cost me nearly $49 Australian. I shopped around, it was one of the best deals. A lot of places you just can't get it anymore. And of course they also had the, the Ultimate Editions, which I believe had like three books in, in the one volume, but they were pushing 400 bucks. Absolutely ridiculous. So I'm really excited to check this one out. I've heard nothing but good things. I have seen the original movie, the live action thing that was filmed a few years ago. And I've got part two in my Blu-ray collection somewhere to watch as well. So Battle Royale. So I'll be getting these ones slowly as they're so pricey. But yeah, it looks, looks amazing. Battle Royale number one. Yeah, this is, this is, I need to up my home and contents insurance. Okay, next. Well, this is a hard one. Our book in the white paper bag. Why can't I open you? Because it's idiot proof. Come on, man. You got this. this is an unboxing video, not a struggling to undo a paper bag video. <laughs> oh, I'm making a mess. Okay. Oh, good. Sneak peek. Okay. So I wasn't expecting this one today, so it's turned up pretty quickly. Full metal number three. I love these editions, man. Look at that cover. That is sick. Full Metal Edition. I'm really pumped for this one. Like I said, I've watched the original series from 2003. I think, like I said in the previous one. Nearly done. I've only got, got like a couple episodes to go. But like, it has changed from what the manga story is. They did their own thing. So I'm really excited to jump into these. Once again, anime first or the manga. That's my, that's my hardest decision these days. <laughs> Look at that book. That is nice. Next, right, some cardboard ones again. Bit of a thicker, thicker binding. Oh, I wonder if I know what this is. Feels like a bigger book. I have got a couple on the way that I know of, but most of them, I'm, I'm, there might be like a set of surprise or two. What is this? Oh, I like, I like surprises. Yes. I was right. So this is Junji Ito's Gaio. So I picked up Tomi last haul and I hear nothing but good things from this guy he's like the master of horror uh, the death stench creeps Gaio 
Look at that. This is going to be a good read. Something's rotten in Okinawa. I don't even want to take a sneak peek. I want to be completely surprised by what's in here. Uh, I hear it's pretty disturbing and scary and some really kind of remarkable imagery in these kind of books. But um, yeah, I hear he's amazing. So that's why I kind of dived into his collection and getting all his stuff. Oh, exciting. Man, so I still got three boxes to go. The small ones and then two big monsters underneath. So I don't know what's in them. It's going to be quite the surprise. Next, ah, oh, Promised Neverland number nine. I've got to be nearly finished with these ones, right? I think they're like they're all trickling in. I keep, I have an app where I can put all my books in there, so I know exactly what I have, and that's why I know I've got about 105 volumes presently. But that's going to go up significantly today. But I mean, I can't wait to get into this one. I've kind of like because I started Binland Saga, and that's like 12 volumes. I'm, I've committed myself to that. For a while but i did knock out that first book in like a week a week you say i could knock one of those out in a day i don't read much which is ironic considering how many books i have i go to bed at night and that's when i do my reading i just jump into bed about 10 30 i watch a couple of youtube videos and then from about 11 o'clock to 11 30 i'll do my reading and, and I'll, I'll get sleepy and and nod off but i can usually get a couple chapters done quite easily in that time but if i had the time to just kick back and read books all day i would but uh, running this YouTube channel, this is going to take me a while today. I've got a few reactions I want to get done, so I don't have a lot of time to watch movies or read books. My quiet time is 11 o'clock at night before I go to sleep with the wife. So it's not a lot, but this is fun. I wouldn't do it otherwise. Another kind of hefty feeling book. Oh. <laughs> Why? First world problem. I can't undo the cardboard zipper on my Amazon deliveries. Okay, this is a thicker volume. Aha! Uh -huh. Once again, another monster volume. This is number five. So these are really coming out of order. But I'm definitely looking forward to diving into these ones as well. So I think I've got the whole collection now. Part of my agenda today is to rearrange bookshelves. We've got a massive stack of movies over there in the corner. So I'm thinking I'm going to move those into my bookshelf where my mangas are currently sitting. Get the DVDs in there and then I'll have more room for the books in that four tier shelf because damn I've got to, I've got to have some storage I've got to do I've got to do something about the storage this is this is crazy and you can see like all the movies I have all my shelf space is devoted to movies at the moment I didn't think I was gonna fall in love with manga like I had all right pretty big box nothing compared to what you're about to see though all right oh cool Oh, just arrived. This is so awkward, man. <laughs> okay, we've got another Junji Ito book, Uzumaki. So I've got his big three, Tomi, Gaiu, and Uzumaki. So I have got these primarily on the recommendations of other YouTubers that I watch. They just tell me that this guy is just the master. He's just an amazing artist. So I've got all three now. Marvelous. Look at that. Nice big hefty bone too. That's... Oh, awesome. That's a big, heavy book. I'll be just scanning these into my app all day today. Now, how am I going to do this? That's a big box. Oh. Huge. Get that to the side for a second. Oh my god, this is... um. So this is one of the boxes I had to have tucked under my arm while I had a very heavy bag of groceries in the other end. I was... It was, a lot, it was a 10 minute walk from where I lived to the store. So, um, it's super awkward. All right, let's do this. What have we got? Bubble wrap. A lot of bubble wrap. Well, shit. I wasn't expecting this at all. I thought it was going to be in a bigger box than what it is. So, um, this is cool. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we have got here... Uh, One Piece. The box set. Oh my god. I, I knew this was coming. 
and I couldn't wait for it to come. But I don't know, for some reason I, I anticipated this being a bigger box than what it is, so I thought it was going to be huge. So I didn't think this was in that box, but hot damn if I am not super excited that this is here. One Piece, I'm diving into One Piece. Like I didn't have enough to read. This is... <laughs> Look at that. Can you see? This has got... Oh man, it's the East Blue and Baroque Works box set, volumes 1 to 23. <laughs> oh my god. So this includes volumes 1 to 23. Can you see? position that nicely. Uh, volumes 1 to 23, bonus mini comic, romance thorn, exclusive full color, two sided poster, one piece, oh, box set. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, wow. So, um, let's open it. Now, I ordered this one weeks ago, and I was getting a little bit concerned as to when it was going to turn up, but like, I knew there was a big box coming, so I kind of eased up my orders a little bit, knowing I didn't want to get swamped with like 200 little parcels and what I thought was going to be a massive box, but damn. Okay. I'm going to move this a little bit and I'll just open this up. <laughs> oh my god, all oh, those beautiful, beautiful books inside, and I love how it's got, um, this really little cool carry case, oh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> and I thought I had uh, space issues before, well, what a nice surprise that was, that was, um, I wasn't expecting one piece today, but, oh damn, it's here, that's really sick, now, I've got another big one to go through, now, yeah, see, this, <sighs> that was under my other arm, yeah, you can see, and it's starting to rain too, so I was like, I should have driven the car, but I can't justify driving the car 10 minutes down the street, well, in a car, two minutes. Had I known, though, that I would get massive boxes today, I should get a little trolley or something. How exciting is this? Tons of bubble wrap. Shit, man. Look at the size of this box. Four. Two. And two. Four books. There's four books. In that. <laughs> oh, that makes no sense. Okay, and one of the boxes was actually tucked in under the arm, um, under the, the sleeve of the box. So look at that. It's, ah, oh, damn. It's been munched up. Shit, man. It was under the, the cardboard sleeve in the box there. It was just kind of like jammed in under. So, fuck. That sucks. Anyway, I'll be fine. Crease that back down. Take any folds out. Stack books on top of it. Oh, that's a bugger. Anyway, that is Monster, so my monster collection must be must be finished. This is number nine in the wonderful monster collection series. Looking forward to diving in, like I keep saying. That has to be everything now, I think. It has to be, because that's that's a lot of monster. Oh <laughs> okay. I am a hero number nine. Turned up once again in that particular order, but they're all trickling in one at a time. In gigantic boxes. See that? Yeah, nice. I'm really looking forward to this, like I said, big fan of zombie, zombie stuff, so. Excellent. And last but not least, we've got the two, two more volumes in Monster, seven and eight. <clears throat> what do you think? Yeah? Nice? Pretty cool collection, right? This is insane. So, so what I'm doing today is rearranging some shelf space. I have got a spot reserved for one piece. I'm going to put it on the floor in front of the, the bookcase. That, that's going to look nice. Um, there's two more box sets in that, so I'll be ordering those one at a time per month because they're like 
200 bucks or so for each one and and they're, they're, they're well they're not as big as what i thought but they're still big boxes to come in and then the next box set series i'm considering diving into is naruto so i hear good things about that as well anyway guys that's my manga haul for november 5th that's um <laughs> oh geez yeah so that's my collection what do you think pretty cool how's your collection i'd love to know what series you love reading and how many books you own in yours uh gone gone pretty hard full out straight out the gate so that's fun but anyway i'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching Grow up.